Y'all, I gotta switch jobs because I'm so tired of mine right now. And I mean, we got beggars out here making a million dollars. Okay, so something gotta get. Okay, world's richest beggar is worth nearly one million dollars. Okay. This happened in Mumbai, India, by the way. Local media is reporting that beggar Bharat Gain has bagged himself, <laughs> gained himself, um, 890,708 USD, okay, um, by panhandling on the streets of the tech and financial metropolis. It's believed that he takes home about 2,500 rupees daily which works out to be $30 a day or 904 a month now mind you he's been doing this for a while okay he ain't been doing this for a year but okay I'm a millionaire okay so and he literally takes it home because he owns a <laughs> y'all this guy's been bamboozling everybody he literally takes his home because he owns a luxurious two-bedroom flat he also lets out uh two shops which pull in an additional 363 dollars a month it's understood he spends about 10 to 12 hours a day begging usually around the i ain't even gonna pronounce it railway station and the sports ground which is considered prime begging locations okay so if you try and get the money money you want to be around these financial districts okay you ain't trying to be around you're not trying to be under the little viaducts that you got and all that you know by trains and all that you want to go where we see some money okay because i know everyone else y'all broke i don't mm -mm, y'all ain't gonna give me anything y'all gonna give me something so that's really what's going on uh, i actually want to tell y'all a story and then we get to some comments in here but in my hometown okay we actually had this where we had a dude, he was over here begging and he's over here begging, he's doing his little thing or whatever. And, and in my house, hometown, we didn't have that many. From what I saw, like where I was going and all that, we didn't really have homeless situations like that. I mean, every place has it, but I mean, I can only remember really about maybe five people that I ever saw as opposed to where I'm at now, whoo, child, okay? But anyway, so I was over there and <laughs> This guy was on the news. They got him on the news. Because he went and like, it was like a Mercedes or some, some nice car this guy had. And you found out he got a car. He got a house he goes to and all this. But he begs just out on the street. I mean, that's how he makes his money. Okay, I make my money. Then I got this. Or they may got a day job or they may have a day job somewhere else. But I remember they like kind of put him on blast. And people were like, yo what i can't i got some money <laughs> and they don't even really need it you know i mean anyone everyone needs a little extra money but you ain't people ain't going out here begging like what you doing okay that's trifling but in my college town that i was in okay i had this bus driver that looked no lie he looked like dave Chappelle when he was skinny okay he looked just like a I could have swore I said like yo you look like Dave Chappelle <laughs> and it was like yeah I you know I get that so really nice um really really nice bus driver whatnot okay so and by the way uh, I had an iPass so when you are a student at the U of I show your iPass you know then you could go on these buses for free because I mean technically you're paying for them so it is what it is including tuition so I was on there or whatever I was heading for my Walmart's so I'm heading back or whatnot, and I see this one guy. I mean, this guy, he's, I see him every time, pretty much, almost every day. He all, he was a black dude, dark-skinned black dude. He had his hair, and dark-skinned black dude, he was about, you know, uh, I would say he was in maybe 60-ish, maybe 65, or maybe he had a hard life. I don't know, okay? But he had his hair sil uh, slicked back, okay? it was like kind of soy sauce looking uh but kind of gray <laughs> at the same time and it was slicked back he always wore a suit he had the shoes he had the you know jacket he had all that you know top bottom everything you know i was like okay and he always wore a book bag and i was like, okay well he's just going to work somewhere okay i don't know where he's working but he's going to work somewhere because he's looking clean well he's looking fresh okay kind of <laughs> but anyways so he's over here doing that or whatnot and i remember i was like I, it was one day where the bus driver i'm on the bus already and the stop is right here and the guy has not come yet okay 
and he has to like cross the street or whatever and he's all the way over there and we over here because we're heading back and he was like kind of waving like oh wait and the bus driver took off <laughs> because mind you you got to be there we ain't waiting on you and doing all this because other people got places to go you're not the only one and there was other people on this bus too it wasn't like two or three people i mean this bus was like halfway full okay so people got places to go so he's over here he does that or whatever and someone was like yo you know you missed the dude or whatever and he was like he'll be back and you could just tell like he was just annoyed by him and then he even said he was like yo he's a professional beggar he's like you know he he's always out here doing that kind of stuff and pretty much it's unethical you know get a get a job dude you know what i mean seemed like this dude could have gotten a job but it seemed like he just didn't want to get one you know what i mean it's one thing if you're begging because you just need to make ends meet it's another thing if you're just making a career out of it because you don't want to work you know and just looking at his clothes i mean he wasn't i wasn't saying like he was you know conor mcgregor you know doing that with the suits and everything conor mcgregor got style okay he that man got style you can say whatever you want about him but he has style okay he wasn't doing you know like that but he was looking pretty good okay but then you find out you know he's a professional beggar and the dude he was bus driver just like i'm and i'm not even dealing with that you're not here i'm not going to be waiting on you it just is what it is okay because if you you could have been at the walmart stop because at the walmart stop they waited there for about 15 minutes i think about 15 20 minutes before they went back around and looped back around and stuff like that so it was like you ain't here you ain't here but it was that kind of stuff that was going on and i was like oh that's when i first realized like or i guess you know from my hometown i was like okay people do this but then i to really like see it up and close and personal like oh wow that's what goes on mm, okay but i have some comments here on this story that i have in hand and someone says i am a greek american and i travel each summer to greece to see my family in front of the grand Pania, uh hotel there was an old woman bent over begging every day sometimes about uh sorry something about her just seemed odd when she died her son revealed that she was a millionaire and owned a lot of apartment houses yep a millionaire y'all because people think like oh my god you're out here you know i would never do this but you have people like hold my beer i'll do it <laughs> and these people got money they're loaded with cash another one says that's why i never get to the intersection beggars you have no idea what sustenance they are already receiving from the government programs family etc uh, your donation to them might be paying their next trip overseas or for their new car that you uh never see and that is what it is uh oh yeah and this is the guy um who is in mumbai india okay i you know i'm not a huge fan i don't know i guess i would rather donate my money elsewhere you know like if i'm going to donate i guess i would rather do like a homeless shelter or you know like a woman's shelter or something like that as opposed to just giving money out it's in like this if i'm gonna bond if i'm gonna give money or something i'd rather give it and know where it's going like if i go and buy like a gift thing of you know hand towels soaps you know put in some fruits put in like some snacks you know like granola bars or something like that some you know cheese it's something you know i'd rather do that kind of stuff as opposed to just giving you money because i just don't like people coming up to me and asking me for stuff i think that's really tacky and i get it you know people gotta do what they gotta do but I just don't like when people come up to me and ask me for things like, oh, I remember I was downtown um, for, I think it was my birthday. It was either my birthday or it was his birthday. I don't know. But I was downtown or whatever. And then I had a homeless lady come up and she was just like, oh, you know, I was going into Voodoo Donuts first and last time because I'm not a fan of their donuts. It's like too dense and their frosting is it's i'm not feeling it it's like buttercream was i'm like i don't want that on my thing but whatever anyways but the, i went i went to voodoo donuts and she was like oh what could you get i'm just like i i'm not i'm not trying to spend more money than i need to i i'm, I'm here it's my first time really being down here really really walking around and seeing the lay of the land of things i've been down there before but not like this you know what i mean and i'm like i don't really want to be bothered 
by whatever you got going on. It's not to be mean or anything, but I don't owe anyone anything. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not really trying to be bothered by you over here asking me, oh, can I get this? Oh, could you give me a burger? Like she asked, oh, well, can I get a donut when you go in there? Cause you're just, you're just like staking out the joint. You know what I mean? Because you can't say, oh, well, I ain't got no money. Cause it's like, well, how are you buying a donut? You know what I mean? Uh, then it's like, you know, oh, well, can I get a burger? And it's like, I'm, I'm not going to get a burger. Oh, well, I mean, if there's a piece of, no, I'm not, I'm not, I just ate. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to actually get home and you're in my way. You know what I mean? And, you know, at that time too, I had my heels on, boo. Okay. And anyone who knows me, I'm wearing four inch or higher, you know what I mean? Really like four or five inch, but I wear like four or five inch heels. Okay. Uh, my feet they ain't trying to be just standing around talking to you right now not even trying to be mean or anything it just is what it is you know what i mean uh, i just don't like people walking up to me it's like if i'm going to volunteer or something i'd rather do it like in a way that i feel more comfortable doing it you know what i mean i'd rather actually go to like a woman's shelter i'd rather go to a homeless shelter and actually volunteer that way or buy some other stuff and then give it to you as opposed to you just you know impeding on my day and what it is that i got going on and now you're over here asking me, oh, well, can I get a donut? Oh, can I get this? Oh, can you help me with this? Oh, I got a burger. Oh, can I get this? Oh, can I get this? And it's like, that makes me not want to be over here. You know what I mean? It makes me not even want to spend my money in the zone. I'd rather just go and get, you know, do a carry out at Longhorn or go to, you know, go to my Mexican spot, get my food there and then head back home and then i don't have to be bothered with any of anybody you know what i mean but sometimes yeah i do want to be out sometimes yeah i do want to enjoy i just want to be in the ambiance i want to be in the atmosphere and i don't like being bothered <laughs> you know so you know i just kind of think about all that kind of stuff when i see that like oh well you know some of these people making money you know money money and you know some people may say oh yeah but you know most people ain't making money like that yeah but still you know what i mean it's like i just i don't want to be bothered with it anyway so that's also why and because sometimes it could be a little sketchy i remember i went downtown went to the weird museum i think it was weird museum in austin it was downtown austin went there by myself or whatever um because people playing games um but went there by myself and it was kind of scary because you had homeless people walking around and some looked sketchy and then you had the Ray Rays, even though they didn't think they were Ray Rays, but they were Ray Rays walking around and they look sketchy too. And I remember I was going to go and stop by the Target down there. And then the Target was across like the, like under, it's not a bridge, but you know, under the viaduct or whatever you want to call it. It was like under there. And I'm like, oh, and I looked and I was like, that looks extra sketchy. And I was like, I'm not trying to do that. So we ended up having to, we ended up driving over there, I believe, where I just, no, no, he came with me later on. That's what it was. He came with me later on. But I'm like, y'all, I just, you know, it's upsetting, but yeah, there's a stigma and I don't feel bad. You know, I, I don't feel bad that I have that because, you know, it's my safety first at the end of the day, you know, in regards to this. But yeah, let's get back to <laughs> the topic. You got people out here straight up scamming. Hey, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you could support me, simply go to ebay.com in the search bar, type in Latrice Limited, click on shops and then support me. I have a wide variety of items on there, many of my own personal Latrice Limited items, such as candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, all that, even lingerie robes as well. I even have men's ties on there, comic books, a whole bunch of stuff for everybody. Definitely do not forget to support me and also do not forget to like and subscribe.